Hey guys, how's it going? Laurie Moon here, and today I'm going to do a really basic video on how to recolor skins. Hopefully this will be quite useful. Um, and this is my method of doing it, and it requires using Photoshop CS3 or any other version of Adobe Photoshop. And so this is just my method of doing it. If you don't have Photoshop, you might not be able to follow it exactly how I do, but this is similar to my other skinning video where I made a skin, but I used Photoshop, and this is just my method of making skins, so I don't know how useful it will be to you, but... Here we go, let's, let's check it out. So, I bought this new thief outfit, thief look, and there's all these other ones as well. And I really like it, I like the baggy shoes, I like the sort of like sash and the, the fur up there and stuff. But I don't really like the colour schemes of some of the default looks. So what I want to do is I want to make the jacket blue, I want to make the undershirt more white. I want to maybe, I want to maybe make it kind of like the color scheme of my traditional skin, the groovy skin, where I've got the blue and white stripes and stuff. I want to make the fur at the back um, silver or something as well, and I want to change the yellow of the shoes and everything. So I, I want the exact same outfit. I want it exactly the same. I don't want to change anything. I don't want to make it so there's a logo on my back, or I don't want a different pair of shorts. I don't want to change anything at all. I just want to change the colors. I maybe change the necklace as well, but I'll do that later. Um... But yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go export, and I'm going to save it somewhere I can easily... I mean, this is probably a bad place for me to find it, but I'll give it a very specific name, like ASDF. There's nothing called ASDF. So this is now saved, just this outfit. And now I'm going to go out of GetAmp2, and I'll rec record my screen, and I'll show you how I do it in Photoshop. Okay, so here I am. I'm now recording my screen. Uh, just going to double check. Oh, look at this. Whee! Whoop! Whoop! Whoa! Look at all those cool kids! Whoa! Alright. Um, okay, so I've got my screen now, and this is not the right one, but I've got it saved, so I'm going to delete that. Um, Alright, so we'll go to find the file. Where is it saved? I save it in my C drive, get out to skins, ASDF. There it is! So this is the one that I've saved. Let's open it with Photoshop. Now I hope everything shows on my screen, like all of the tools and stuff. But yeah, so here we've just got the bare bones. This is exactly what we had in GetAmp2. And with this tool here, which is called the Magic Brush or something, Quick Selection Tool, so you can right click it in this Magic Wand or Quick Selection, you can just hold your mouse over it. You can change the brush size there as well, but I want it to be very fine, so I've just got it on like one or two. Um, and you can just highlight all of this. You can just highlight all of the green, but I don't want to highlight the black. I want the black to stay the same for now, so I'll deselect that. Oh, maybe make the brush a little bit smaller. Two pixels. Get that green back. Oh, shit. And um, to do this, basically, you can either click down, but to unselect something, which is what, because I've accidentally selected all this brown, this black here, you hold Alt and then click. So, that, so that's making it a plus. It's a plus there. It was a plus on the brush, and holding Alt makes it a minus on the brush. I don't know if you can see the brush very well. I'm just unselecting all of this, all of the black. I think that's all of it. But I'm also going to select this blue down here. I may as well make this all of the same. So yeah, so I'm going to go Control C. I've copied all of that. Control V. So now I've made a new layer, which is just this green. So if I was to get this green, you press Control U to get the hue selection. And if I move this hue bar along, I can change the color to whatever I want. So I'm going to make it like a nice blue like there we go oh maybe a little bit lighter no nope, no nope, no nope. i'm gonna have a dark blue no nope, that's i don't know actually yeah that'll do so that's a blue color and if i if i click this eye icon i can see the layer underneath because i didn't change the color of the one underneath but there so now i've got one that's blue and one that's green but i'm going to duplicate the layer i've actually just had a brilliant idea and i'm going to go image adjustments black and white and so one of the layers is now black and white I'm gonna, oh, I'm going to make the blue really high so that comes out as a white color. And by doing this, I can probably like... I don't know if this is going to work. I want to try and make it blue and white stripes, basically. And so I've selected this bit here. I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to move across to there. I'm going to keep that as it is. One, two, three. How many, sp how many spaces across is that? Is that five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This might take a while. Um, so that's there. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. 
That, look at that! One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom! One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's keeping the texture as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. This might look really ridiculous because the um the lines one, two, three, four, five, six might not match up, for example. So the back might be too big or something like that. But we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 This is a little bit tedious, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is gonna look cool, I reckon. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got this layer's the blue one. I'm, I'm deleting the white layer, and there's a blue layer underneath. So the blue one is the one that you can see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'll leave the last one as is. So yeah, that's done now. Now I've got a nice blue and white striped jacket. I don't know how well it's going to look when it comes out. Oh, actually, I didn't do this bottom bit down here. Uh, I might just leave that just for the sake of length of the video. And now, if I make this invisible, that's back as how it was. I can make it green and white, or have the blue layer showing. And yeah, so now I'm going to go back to this layer, la layer zero, and I'm going to highlight all of the orange, and I'm going to make this another color. I don't know what color to make it. Um... What would look good with blue and white stripes? Maybe like a red or something? I mean, I don't like the orange. I don't know if I like the orange. So control U opens up this. Oh, yellow looks quite cool, actually. Um, oh yeah. Light blue, green, red. I don't know about red. Blue, yellow. Yellow's kind of cool. I'll have it like that. This might look ridiculous, actually. Control C, so that layer's now there. So when I go back to this layer, Oh, I've already changed the color. So on this layer here, now I have two yellows. So it's going to be a little bit harder to auto-select that. Oh, that was quite easy, actually. I thought it would be harder than that. And I don't know what color to make this. These little bits. I'm going to get that as well at the bottom. Control-C. So that's another layer there. And I'm going to go Control-U. And what should I make this one? Might make this one like blue, like a slightly lighter shade of blue. This is going to be such a gangster lorry. <laughs> um, okay, so we've got that layer now. These are all of the layers. If we get rid of all the layers, that's how it was at the beginning. Kind of, but I've already changed this to a yellowy colour accidentally. So I've got my blue stripes, my white stripes. That's the yellow, which you can't see because I've changed the base as well. And that's the blue shoes and stuff. Uh, I'm going to change my pants now, so I'll highlight the pants. Really easy to highlight a black colour. But it's also very hard to change a black colour because black and white are traditional colours. So, ooh, I was just checking to see if I'm still recording. Um, so if I change the hue, the pants color is not changing. How am I going to change that? Well, I go image, adjustments, variations at the very bottom here. Image, adjustments, variations. And with this, you can see, you can have your plain color and you can just go add blue, add blue. Just add, like, add a little bit of color. If I can add yellow, it makes it become yellow instead of blue. But if you just add the color at the beginning, it's a little bit easier. So I've added blue twice, and now I've got this nice dark blue color there. I think it might be a little bit too prominent. I'm going to make it, like, slightly more, like, lorry moon blue instead of, like, a purpley sort of blue. And then I'm going to make the saturation go down just a bit as well. Saturation is where, like, fully beautiful color or black and white completely. But if I move it down just a little bit, it will go a little bit more, like, grey sort of colour. That's kind of the colour I want. Yeah, I'll go with that for now. Yep, so the pants are now blue. I'm going to make the undershirt here white. And I want to get rid of that necklace, but I'm not going to do... Oh, no, I will do that now. I will do it. But first, I'll make the, I'll make the shirt white. So I'll make it... Uh, not that. I'll make it black and white. Just go black and white, because it's actually got a tint of yellow to it. So if I move that up, yellow is the, the prominent colour there. I don't want it to be too dark. That'll be fine, I guess. Um, so let's get rid of the necklace. So I, I didn't actually make another layer of the shirt there, but oh well, that's the that's the one on the base. That's These are all of the layers that I've added, but the base has been changed colour as well. Let's get rid of that dang old necklace. You look like a stupid hippie. Um, I'm just going gonna, gonna to highlight this, and if you go Control t on this layer, because this is the layer that I'm dealing with, Control t so this space can now be stretched. Just to show you another example, if I was to like hide this and then stretch that, you can sort of like mess around with just that space. Control Z, undo. 
So on on my ba oh, whoops on my base layer, I've gotten rid of the the main part of the necklace. But now I'm going to do the same thing with Control T up here to sort of just like get rid of that. Another thing you can do is you could use the stamp tool, which is this, and on the stamp tool, if you press, oh, I want it quite small. If you press Alt and select a space, you can then sort of like move the color up. Your brush becomes like another space. You can see there's um a little a, a cross there just to the left bottom of the of the brush. And I've sort of just done that, but that's a very difficult way to do it. I prefer just using the hot the hold um select a space and then going Control T and just stretching it out. Um, probably get rid of these ones like that as well. It's all the same colour, may as well just stretch it all the way along. Hopefully this won't look too obvious on the skin that I've like stretched out the space. It's looking a little bit weird already. Almost done. Just get this. Highlight that, highlight that. I just want to get rid of the black. Um, hmm. Stretch that to there. And that to there. But it looks a bit weird over there at the moment. But I could fix it, I guess. Maybe I'll just make it one colour the whole way along or something. It just, it just looks weird. Something's wrong about it. No, I want, I want this colour. Okay, I'm going to select that one pixel. Stretch that pixel the whole way along. I don't know, it looks a little bit weird there, doesn't it? Oh well, I'll fix it up on the skin. I'll like highlight this bit and twist it, flip it to the other side or something. But yeah, I think I've changed everything. The, the shoe looks a bit weird with the stripes, but maybe that's okay. Um, this, this layer, I'm just going to highlight that and make the base of the shoe white, and I mean black instead. That looks a little bit better, being a black colour. This might look really weird, it might look like a gangster thug version of my normal skin. And the last thing I wanted to do was this is the fur up the top, Control c Control u I can change it to whatever colour I want that fur to be. But I don't really want it to be blue or red or anything, it'll look unnatural. So I've, I'm just gonna go, adjustments, black and white, and make it like a, a white colour. Here we go, I don't want it to be too, too white, otherwise it looks like really weird and I'm pretty sure that's everything so now I'm gonna go save save as and it's still gonna be called ASDF but I'm just gonna call it ASDF copy so it's right next to it and let's go back to GetUp2 and import the results okay I'm now back on GetUp2 we're gonna go and look at the skin so here I am again with the default shit and all I do is I go import and then we go up to the main folder ASDF copy and there it is! Oh, it looks kind of weird with the stripes, doesn't it? But what I would do is I would have to make it match on the other side so it's perfectly aligned. Oh, like the belt buckles look a bit weird as well. That was a bit experimental of me. But oh well, I think it's looking kind of cool. I like the, the gold and the stripes. Uh, maybe I would make the fur a different colour at the top. Because it doesn't, it looks a bit weird like that. Hmm. So I don't know what else to add to this. I guess I would I would make my skin colour match my face's skin colour. That's my skin colour. Um, got this. That lets you select the whole area. This just changes the colour. So I just go like that. Now it's my now it's the same skin colour as my hand. Do the same up here for my neck. Makes it a little bit more yellow instead of being pale. I can just highlight this whole hand and flip it. So now my other hand is the same. I wonder if I just like, because the whole skin is already sort of inverted, so if I just like highlight the whole skin and flip, now it's looking a little bit more matching with the stripes. Stripes are the same on each side. I mean it was cool to make it different, but it just looks so weird at the back, I'd sort of have to fix that up. Here we go. Stripes are now matching. And this is probably a quicker way than doing the one, two, three, four, five, six thing that I was doing earlier. If I sort of just like highlight that, I can just drag it and drop it and drag it and drop it just perfectly like that. That's not quite six spaces there, but oh well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'll live with it. Yeah. Oh, the bottom of my shoes are blue. What's the bottom of my shoes? This bit is probably the bottom of my shoes. There. So I'm going to highlight, I'm just going to make this like black, 
Oh, it doesn't really... Damn it, that's not black. <laughs> there we go. Oh, not dark enough. I'll choose that. Oh, nah. Just go completely black. 100% opacity. That's kind of cool. I don't like it being completely black. I've gone... There's a few pixels over, but you'd have to really squint and look at the skin carefully to notice. So that's it! I've recolored the skin, I've, I've added some stripes to the jacket, and actually it wouldn't hurt to have a necklace there, don't you think? A necklace there might make it look a little bit more interesting. So I'd probably make the uh, the necklace my Lunar Guild Emblem or something instead. Let's get out. Skin edit mode. There it is! A hip version of Laurie. Not quite- I, I kind of like the traditional one a little bit more, maybe. But it's definitely something different. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. This is my bait. This is the end of my basic tutorial on how to recolor skins. I hope you've learned a thing or two, and maybe download Photoshop if you can find a way to get it. I mean, there's probably a free way, illegally, but it's such an old program, especially if you get CS3. It's probably, you could probably find it somewhere, torrent it, or I don't know. Probably shouldn't endorse you guys getting it illegally, but whatever. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.